Okay, this time we're going to go somewhere with this. So, I said I wasn't going to address this troll that I've been you know, having an issue with. But we'll go one more time just for the sake of poning. Um, so, this person now, uh, I found out, not even a woman, uh, thought it was a 22 year old woman that was sexually abused as a child because that's what they lied and told me I found out that this person was actually a male and may actually be older than 22 so it kinda leads me to believe that with all these lies and stuff like that you know they keep piling on and trolling me and harassing me and all that it kind of makes me wonder, you know, with so many lies, I mean, I can obviously see with so many lies how it's hard to, you know, keep those lies straight and back them up, because they're just filled with so much hypocrisy and, you know, retardation and stupidity. So, basically, I was wondering, hmm, what else is this person lying about? Are Were they, I hate to go here, but... Were you even sexually abused? Or was that a lie too? Because if you're lying about that, then first of all, that is really low. Because there's actually people that are sexually abused and you made me feel sorry for you. And believe me, I am if you obviously, I am still sorry for you if it did happen to you. But if that was just a bunch of lies made up as part of a reason to, you know, make me come off as a as a as a nimrod and a and basically you're playing you're playing me for an idiot and trying to use that more to harass me, then really you've sunk really to a new low, because there are really are people out there that have been sexually abused, and you're using that as a joke to troll and harass and basically make somebody else look stupid that that that's almost cruel that no it is cruel so i i just it boggles my mind with these with these idiots and that, that's why i don't bother with trolls very often because you know they can't keep their own shit straight and they often resort to the lowest scumbag shit ever and then after all this because I found out he was male he was saying yeah because yeah, I made a video about to a male addressing this that now we're back on the whole gay issue okay first of all you obviously first of all YOLO you obviously lack originality uh, because by the way, people, it's kind of weird that people use YOLO because the when I first found out what YOLO was, I'm like, I'm like, some, it's like somebody from YOLO County? <laughs> I mean, that was the, that that's a whole other story altogether, but I thought I would throw that in there uh, because, you know, nor, NorCal problems. Anyway, uh, but yeah, this person obviously they they don't have very much originality because they went right on they, they went right on back to what they were talking about before didn't come up with anything new to harass me with so now we're back just gonna fall back on that since now you've been exposed as this uh, troll and harasser and and now basically possibly that you're lying about first of all you lied about being about your gender and now you're obviously and then who knows what else you're lying about now that you've been exposed for the fraud you are now we're gonna go back back well well you're gay yeah here's a problem with that a little crack in your theory big crack actually um I have never found any male attractive sexually or otherwise I have actually always found women very attractive and 
I like women. I have no problem. I have absolutely, I'm very confident in my own sexuality, in my own masculinity, trust me. I have always sexual found women sexually attractive. I've always found them very appealing, and that's why I like women. That's why that is why it's called heterosexual. Now, if I did like guys, I would be homosexual, but I don't, because I, I like women. Whether you choose to believe that in your hard-headed and stupid mind that keeps falling back on some on what premise do you really have that I'm gay because obviously you seem to th you seem to think that you have some proof but yeah because I made a video about you no I was making a video about you and to you because I felt sorry for what I had said because yes what I had said came off as really over the line but then you for some reason decide to fall when I expose all that as possible lies then you say well I'm gay no no I'm not gay I'm actually I'm per I'm about as straight as pretty much a desert road mainly so the fact that I really, I mean, obviously, I know maybe the sometimes I come off with the body language. Maybe I don't know. I, I've seen my, watch myself on video. I don't really see what you're talking about. I mean, maybe there are some things that come off. Maybe it's because I use too many hand gestures. But you know, I, I have ADD, so you know, part of my problem is that I, you know, plus I drink a lot of caffeine, Red Bull, and stuff like that. So. I tend to get a little jittery and hyped up. But uh, that may be coupled with the fact that you, because somehow maybe I'm pro-feminist, that make, that because I believe in the ideolo ideology of feminism, you think, well, a feminism, feminism is, a, is a female thing. It's a, it's an effeminate thing. No, feminism or pro-feminism, and it's right, as I've stated in another video, is not gender specific and it's not an idea uh, ideology based upon just the f females fighting males fight for it too albeit not a lot but those that are actually true gentlemen and true lady and true have true respect for women follow that ideology it, to uh, whatever degree it, they do um that I mean, even prominent uh, m minor parties do that. I mean, a lot of most socialist parties and social democratic parties, as you'll find, incorporate feminism as part of their ideology because feminism is the pro feminism is actually more of a social democratic, social liberal, and, and democratic socialist, uh, you know idea because it believes in the equality for and the the suffrage for uh, women's rights they're they're pro women's rights basically that's what pro pro feminism is it's pro uh, pro women's rights so just because I support that does not state that in any way necessary so basically that's what I'm addressing you can continue to believe whatever you want about me. You you can continue to make jokes about my sexuality. That it, it's annoying as hell, and it's and you use it, and obviously from not only that but to your playing victim of the child abuse thing to you know whatever else it is. You basically beat a you you beat a dead horse all the time. You just you just beat the hell out of whatever it is until you get bored with that you move on to that and you basically you're only on the message boards and we're on YouTube there for a while until I blocked you to cause trouble stir up trouble and basically annoy harass whatever you want to call it that is a definition of trolling so yeah so the very nature that you're trying and again go ahead and believe what you want to believe that that's 
you're you're gonna probably hold true to your belief no matter what, because that's just how stupid and just insane you your head is. I don't know if your mom had dropped you on your head too much as a child, or if you were thrown across the room, um, but for some reason you, or if you're just doing this obviously to get a rise out of me, or and others, but either case. I'm just stating, stating a simple fact. I am straight. I, I'm not gay. Sorry to break your fragile little heart on that. I'm not gay. Never have been gay. Never found men attractive at all. I've always... as far, Even as far back as... What was it? When I was... I think I was even younger than four. I may have been... All I know is that I is that I really did love this one girl that was maybe about my age, maybe about a year older. But she and I uh, used to be really good friends. It's the, it's probably one of my earliest memories I can remember. And uh, we used to, you know, our families basically we lived in an apartment complex and. Um, me and my mom lived in the above apartment. Our uh, neighbors lived below us. They were Mexican, American, Mexican American. Sorry, uh, I know PC, but uh, but she was uh, such a she was one of my best friends as as a young child, and uh, I really I really did. I I guess it's it's kind of stupid to say, but <laughs> even to, to my followers and. This is me getting kind of, kind of personal, but uh, I really did like her. I, I probably it was as close as you could probably get it to love, you know, it was puppy love. And I don't know really how she felt about. It. I think she had a bit of a crush on me too, but I don't know. But I always had a crush on her, and so yeah, she was kind of like my first love. I know all the ladies are are going. Oh, all the guys are laughing their asses off. Yeah, fuck you guys. It really fuck you. And then there was obviously a girl. You know, I had a real thing for a girl that when I was in elementary school, uh, I often would have crushes in high school on a lot of these different girls. Um, and then obviously, you know, now I'm a man, and obviously there's, you know, there's girls I see, but, you know, there's one girl in particular that, you know, that means the most to me. So, so basically, I, I've, I know I'm kind of make blab, blathering like an idiot, and the person that, the troll that I'm, going after that I'm trying to pwn is probably just snickering and thinking I'm just making a lot of bullshit up but no it's, I'm being very sincere I've, I've I've never been a lady killer I'll admit that I've never been a lady killer but I've but I like but I'm definitely a definitely do have a lot a lot of a history with with women, with women, not always the smoothest with women, but I've always been pretty, uh, pretty good, and and that's pr and probably because I'm so much of a gentleman, because I hang out with a lot of girls and stuff like that instead of a lot of guys, because a lot of guys that I know are just complete douchebags, and I don't, and you know, my stance on douchebags, you know, so that's why I only have a a little a few guy friends and why I'm I've got so many female friends that like me because well obviously I do have a lot of respect for women and I obviously say most of the time say the right things and I'm a good friend to have I'm a good I can be a good boyfriend to have um you know but and a lot of times people will take that in a way of saying saying because you know I'm such a you know saying that since I'm such a, since I respect women so much and I, you know, 
and I'm able to, you know, say the right things to them and not, you know, and I don't treat them like scum and I don't, you know, because I don't treat them bad and I don't, you know, basically bounce from one chick to the next and, you know, or get one pregnant and then leave her or get or you know, whatever the case may be. Because I don't do that, because I'm not uh, what the, you know, because I'm not a player. That a lot of people say, "Well, God, are you gay or something?" No, I just am not a douchebag. And that's basically the point of this whole thing. I'm not just because you're just because you're not a player, just because you don't go after, chase after every girl with a pulse and try to you know bang every girl every pretty girl from here to ten buck two. Just because you don't get into that doesn't mean you're gay. It, actually, if you treat women with respect and actually truly love a woman and actually try to have serious relationships with women, that doesn't you know that doesn't make you gay. It makes you actually a gentleman. It's what I like to always say. It makes you a real man. It makes you a revolutionary man. That's the point I'm trying to make. So, Veggie Troll, Super Evil Cupcakes, whatever you want to call yourself, fuck you. Go ahead and believe what you want to believe, motherfucker. But I'm the one with the camera. I'm the one with the voice. And I'm the one that will fucking pwn your ass every fucking time. You're the one that's sitting at home alone, lonely, harassing people over the internet and won't show your face. That's called trolling. And it also shows, prob I don't know if apparently you didn't get enough hugs or that you don't have a lot of friends or something. But obviously because you're not wanting to address me personally through a video or something, not only are you just trolling, but you're showing an amazing amount of cowardice. Fuck off. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement. This has been NorCal Corner. Peace! So I cross my heart and I hope to die. Then I'll only stay with you one more night